But we can do much better, we have to, much, to do much better because Ali's saves were too spectacular actually. So, um, but the goalkeeper has to save a few balls, that's completely normal, but they should not be in front of, alone in front of his goal, so that makes no sense, so we have to improve. But of course a lot of things were really good and um, it's, it's, it's a challenge to be after, you are right, after that week uh, with the results we had, being 3-0 up, 4-0 up and then keeping the concentration. That we could see that I think uh, that was not the case. So, how's that? Space for improvement, but still good. Not just the timing of that first goal, but also the quality of it as well. Do you feel that really set the tone for the game? Yeah, pretty much. We had we sh actually we should have scored with the with the situation before probably, and and Diogo didn't know exactly what to do with the ball. <laughs> Um, but then um, Sadio and Robo had a genius moment together um, and set it up perfectly. Yeah, um, we had a lot of good football moments, obviously today. I think the people enjoyed it. And it was really cold here today, um, and so we could give a bit of warmth at least. With the performance of the team this afternoon against a good Southampton side. Yeah, we are pretty happy with uh, our performance. Uh, most the first half and second because first half was a great game. Uh, we conceded a bit, but we also created a lot of chances. We created a great football, and I think we got the result of the first half, second one. For sure, you're playing with the time, you're playing with the result, and also knowing that in three, three days you have another game. So it's a mix of uh, feelings that you don't have to have. You just have to be focused on this game and to be stay hungry the, the whole game. Did they surprise you at all by the fact they changed their system, they, they changed the way they lined up? Is that a mark of respect to you guys, perhaps? Sure, we were preparing uh, we were preparing the game with a 4-4-2, 4-4-1-1, but at the end uh, they changed. But as I said, we I think we had a lot of experience in football to analyse the moment how, how, the, how the other opponents are, are playing and just to convert our game in that. Another goal for you after the one in midweek. Not quite as beautiful, but the footwork before it was very nice. How pleased to get another goal this afternoon? Well, as I said, it's special to score at the stadium, but I am even more pleased with the win. And of course, next up is a trip to Goodison. Is there a, a real keenness amongst the players to get a result in that game? Because last time, obviously, it was frustration. Frustration for you, there was an injury, but the result was frustrating as well. Yeah, it's a derby, it's always special. Uh, we have to have in our mind, it's, it's another uh, Premier League game that we have to give all. And it's our mindset. It doesn't matter. It's a derby for the for the crowd outside, etc. From from us and from us, it's just a game that we have to play in our, our way. And just overall, how pleased are you with the rhythm that the team seems to be developing? The games are coming quickly, yeah. but you're handling that. Yeah, I think it's coming for. Uh, it's the moment of the season that we we're waiting for to play every three games, to have less training for sure, but. And we want to play football. It doesn't matter if it's in one, two, three days, but we just want to play football. So we appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Well played. How pleased were you with the, the start today, the intensity shown from the off the, this afternoon? Yeah, very pleased with the overall performance. I think, you know, clean sheets important, four goals, always nice. So, yeah, overall very pleased. And like you said, we started the game well, got the early goal, um, which, which helped, and then went on there and scored a few more. So, overall, I think we've got to be very pleased. Do you get a sense this is a group of players with, with a bit between their teeth just now? There seems to be a real intensity generally and a real rhythm to things. Yeah, I think the performance level has been really high over the last few games. Um, defending as a team properly, a threat going forward, um, some good football at times. So overall, we're in a good moment, but we need to continue that. You know, I know how quickly football can change, so you've got to keep that momentum going, keep the consistency going. And, um, and we've got a big game next as well, so that's important. Both sides of the game, people will focus on the goals today. I think that's now over 700 under the manager. You'll be pleased with that because at the moment, consistently scoring and scoring plenty. Yeah, that's important, but the other side's just as important in keeping clean sheets. I think that's the most important thing. If we can keep defending well, keep, keep clean sheets, we're always going to be good going forward and always going to create opportunities. Um, so I think, yeah, that's something that we want to keep keep with, keep, keep enjoying them, clean sheets and then obviously the goals as well. You mentioned a big game to come next week. What are the thoughts of going back to Goodison? It was frustration last time, I guess, and maybe owe them one for what happened here last time. Yeah, listen, the derby's always intense, you know, away at Goodison, it'll be a tough game um, and anything can happen in a derby, so we've just got to be ready as, as we always are, give absolutely everything. And, um, and keep the consistency going and the performance level. And if we do that, then we're going to have a good chance of winning. Cheers, John. Thank you.
Jogo, well done. Was it as straightforward as it looked in the end, do you feel? Well, I think in the end it's a good game for us. I think uh, we adapt well for of, uh, that change, uh, three at the back. I think they didn't adapt very well. They changed in the second half, uh, I would say slightly better. Uh, I, I think we took advantage. There was a lot of spaces in the first half, so we beat the result and in the end a clean sheet as well, so good performance today. Two goals for you. Did the, the timing and the quality of that first goal really set the tone, do you feel, today? Yeah, I think it's always easier to, to start well when you start with a, a good goal, good team goal, 1-0 uh, at home. But uh, we knew in the past we have been 2-0 and we didn't win the game. So I think today we, we did the job and that is the most important. You were doing everything in your power today to turn two goals into three, wasn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, always, when you are so close it's always nice, but uh, the most important is that we win, so we move forward. Yeah, unable to get a second Liverpool hat-trick, but those two goals <laughs> very early on set the tone and, as he said, killed the game straight away. Yeah, Liverpool were in cruise control, really. didn't really have to get out of, uh, of third gear, got off to a, a quick start, brilliant play, play down the left-hand side from Mane and Robertson and put it on a plate for Jota and that was them up and running and ever since that moment really you never thought that Southampton yeah. were ever going to get back into the game, it was always a matter of how many Liverpool were going to get. You see them just dragged it, they were kind of attracted to the ball, Romeo, everybody, and then there's the quality, the running off the ball, the movement, the pass from Mane, it's all top draw stuff. Mm. You know, that's a minute and what, 30, 36 seconds, you can't make those mistakes, same there. You know, you've got, you got, you got, you got to make that, you've got to get that ball, because this is what will happen, Liverpool win the ball, they'll turn it over quickly, and then before you know what's going on, bam, Salah's in, <laughs> square ball is in. Brilliant yeah, Southampton just had themselves to blame there, didn't they? One, giving the, uh, the the ball away there, and then just no marking whatsoever. It's a simple give, go, and Salah's free, Jota's free. Thank you very much. Two nil, game over. Yeah. And then uh, Thiago, two in a week. A uh, little bit of misfortune as far as uh, Southampton are concerned with the deflection uh, for the goal. But you love the the skill and the touch as well. Oh, the uh, the touch to to get himself into that position to <laughs> open himself up. He goes the old little dummy, doesn't he? Uh, stands on the ball up. See you later. Defender goes for it. I know it takes a an awful deflection from a Southampton point of view, but I I think it's probably going in anyway. In the uh, in the far corner, takes a defection, and the keeper's got no chance. But the skill yeah. to open himself up to to be able to have the superb. It could have got very nasty for Southampton in that second half. They kept it down to one. Yeah. Virgil Van Dijk, with his first goal for yeah, over but, a year. Yeah, but you see a corner coming in and a centre half being able to volley it in or a half volley it in from there. It's, it's got to be something wrong with the marking. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I can't I can't fault Virgil Van Dijk. You know he's too strong um, for for his marker, and in the end he's just. Uh, Romeo, and he's just he's just volleyed it in, but again, that's poor marking, really. Shouldn't be volleying it in from there free. When you when you go to Anfield, you need a little bit of luck, and you need everyone to be on top of the game, and you cannot afford to make stupid errors, otherwise you'll get punished. And all of the goals that we've yeah. that we've shown could have been avoidable from a Southampton point of view. Yes, you're playing against good players. Yes, you've got to go to Anfield, and it's an incredible atmosphere. But you've got to give yourself the best opportunity of getting something out of the game. And Southampton didn't do that today. They were really sloppy, but they were punished by a ruthless Liverpool. Yeah. Mm. I don't know, Everton have got to play yet this weekend against Brentford, but they are the next opponents in the Merseyside derby on Wednesday. And they'll be looking at that thinking, we cannot allow them those type of Well, you can't because chances. at the moment, at the moment, like Ralph Arsenal said, it's very hard to find a weakness in them. And when they're playing this comfortably, you have to, you have to get them into a position where they are uncomfortable. We saw West Ham do it. Um, when they had a little bit of a lull in the game, West Ham went for them and, and, it, and they won. They, they, they won the game and since then we haven't seen any kind of weakness in them because they probably learnt from that. And if you're brave enough to come and do that, ever, and whoever it is is brave enough to come and do that, then good luck to you because if you get it wrong, and what they've shown again is that any marginal mistake is going to be punished. So 